G'day boys and girls, welcome back to Del Boys Garage. Now tonight I just want to address something. Nothing serious to that I'm afraid, no building or making anything, it's this finish. When I painted these the other day, I only had some smooth right, some spray smooth right, about a third of a tin, and a little tiny squirt of Halfords satin black, and it has come out too glossy, certainly too glossy for a rat bike look. And a lot of it went on the engine uh, through there. Got a glossy finish. It just looks a bit cack, really. So what I'm going to do, uh, because I've always used satin black, and satin black gives this finish. On the front, where the weather's going, it's kind of matting out. And matte black, I'm sort of looking at it. It's a look that I kind of like. And it's a lot more rat than satin black. So I'm going to have a little play. And instead of refreshing the satin and making it look all shiny again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some matte black. For the first time, I've always used satin black. It's not a big change, it's not a big deal. It's not some big stakes, it's just I'm trying this stuff out instead. Uh, on the cans, uh, pipes even, duh, they've got this fantastic kind of grey, powdery, slightly calcified look that the weather and the beatage of the rain and everything going on there has caused and that's what I like and it's matte black and I think a little bit of the satiny shiny that's all still under there that kind of needs dulling down a bit so I'm not going to do the body work because that's a lot more paint but what I am going to do is this hideous shiny gloss which kind of looks like smooth right it's good because good protection you know they ain't ever going to rust that's got loads of smooth right all over it now so I'm just going to get some of this into it tonight and see what it looks like. Never really used matte black in a wrap. I've done a few of these bikes over the years, made them look a bit different. But in these areas here, I'm kind of liking this sort of totally flat black look. And I want it to sort of pick up more of a patina and look even more rat as it goes along. That's the idea of the project. Kind of long term, this sort of calcified, scuzzy, beaten, decayed post-apocalyptic sort of look which a rat is meant to have and it's a long process you know a few people have given me a good old telling off and picked me up on forums that I'm on saying it's not a rat bike you've just painted a bandit matte black stop getting over yourself so yeah they're absolutely right making a rat bike is a long-term process it takes years you have different things you put different random bits on it I love my engine cage it's completely daft and stupid I've had some fantastic comments human cheese grater uh, lacrosse racket, that's quite funny. Anybody who loathes lacrosse is, is a bit posh anyway. Uh, and what does someone else say? Oh yeah, you could uh, you could use it to catch some roadkill and then fry it against the engine pots, which is quite cool, instant lunch. But there we go, I'm gonna whack over this with a little bit of that matte black. Try and get some of this sheen off it. I kind of dull it down a bit more. So the first thing is mask up these bits and any other bits I don't want to paint. Take the seat off kind of prepare it for the job. Stick around, stay tuned, see what it looks like. And there we are, all I've done is masked off all the bits I don't want to paint. The bodywork, I quite like that satin finish at the moment. It may go matte later, but you can't unmatte it. So I'm gonna leave that covered up. What I want to do is all this engine bit, everything there, I want to get that matte black. The rear is already kind of matte black. When you look at the wheels, there's already, uh, a mat in that already so that doesn't really need anything um, same as this that's matte black already which is the finish I want on your so that's gonna look pretty cool and as you can see today's episode is brought to you in association with Tesco Morrison's Iceland and Argus you can see the class of person on this YouTube channel hey <laughs> no waitros in this house right Obviously very important, just make sure we mask up the little oil sight glass. Don't want any paint on the brake pedal. Uh, and the whole front end, I just want to keep it off the discs uh, and out of the calipers because that can get sort of clogging, cause problems. All the top end, I've just sheeted it all off. As you can see, I've just masked it all up, what I don't want done. Just gonna do those side bits, get the mat on there and see what it dries like, really. I've got a couple of tins of this. Back to my favorite shop, we've got more in stock. 2.99, matte black, good stuff. 
and it's a big, I think it's a big 550, 500 mil can brill, does the trick. So give it a good old shake, little point with aerosols. Um, a lot of people use aerosols, they don't really get the most out of them. Um, even if it's matte black on a rat bike or where it's a really nice job, it doesn't matter. If you shake them long enough, you get all the solids from the bottom out and into the mix. You get a better finish and you get to the end of the can. You, you spray to the finish. As I said before, there's only probably two inches of actual paint in the bottom of this. Then a whack of thinners and then literally space for air pressure. Uh, so you're not getting a lot of paint anyway, so you might as well make sure what you have paid for, you can use it all. Um, so a good shape for at least a minute. Warm atmosphere. It's about it's a nice evening. I guess it's about 19 degrees right now in old money. Let's just shoot this pig. See what it looks like. Stick around. Stay tuned. And just before I get started, another quick point on this. A couple of you guys said quite rightly that uh, all that condensation that gathered in the can there could well be rainwater. Well, firstly. The fairing is kind of here, and when it's over on the side stand, it sort of sits over and shrouds in the top, so that doesn't sit with the opening facing the sky, so rain can't really drizzle in, it's up under the fairing. But I just thought, yeah, that might be the point. So I've had this little bit of sponge tucked in, so the rain can't go in for the last week. But I just want to show you this. When I just pulled this off just now, this is the pipe. Let's check this out. That is clean water pure condensation and that's coming out that pipe the whole time so I'm pretty sure and I'm aiming to prove a point here I'm pretty sure that everything that's coming out of this this is connected to the top of the rocker cover this is the rocker cover breather pipe and I'm pretty sure that this is all condensation water that comes out the motor so no rain whatsoever can get in I haven't checked it yet I'm going to leave it for about 500 miles and see what we collect in here and I will report back so the cans there and it's now got a bung in the top, so nothing goes in there. Big bit of sponge. When the tube's in there as well, that's quite tightly packed. So, just wanted to show you that. That water's coming out there the whole time. That is pretty... I don't know, you would call it, it's kind of... I don't know, maybe it's cold engine, uh, hot gases, whatever, but it is causing a lot of condensation. So I'm going to see what that makes. Anyway, let's get spraying. This matte finish should look kind of drier and chalky and not so glossy. As it gives a bit more of a rat look. You never know. Quite generous with the paint. One coat, do it one time. Messing about with setting coats. Just spraying over this old paint now. The paint on the exhaust has become quite calcified and sort of already got that yellowy cream sort of dusty look but I'm going to put the matte paint over it. Build up the layers and that will burn in hopefully and add to the effect that we wish to create. Alright. Pretty much that side. Nice. Go on the other side. It's a bit strong. <laughs> Good for you. Clear your sinuses. What's the matter with you? 
obviously wear a safety mask. <laughs> wear a safety mask when you're doing this for yourself. Which none of us do. None of us ever do. Who gives a damn? Yeah, it smells nice. God, it stinks. It doesn't stink. What's the matter with you? It's fine. What does it smell? Just keep smelling it long enough, you start to see fairies and trains and elephants running at you. Hallucinogen. Right. I think that will do the first coat. Let me see how good that's going to be when I let it dry for a bit because it is matte. As the matte dries out, it flattens off. So let's see if that gloss turns to matte. Invert the can. Always give the can a clear, just quick like that. And you hear it change as the thinness comes through. The reason for that is that the tube that lives in there doesn't get bunged up with paint. It clears it with the thinness. About a third of that left, I reckon. Just over half. So that'll do the job in the end. I'll let that dry off. Get a second coat in a minute. Alright. That's at about <coughs> 15 minutes to go off. So put the rest on. That's the way to ride it. Distant ragging. Sitting it out. Just trying to stretch. Feel the can as it empties. The edge suffers quite a lot of booting from the weather. There's a bit of extra on there. It's quite good fun in the morning because it smokes in England. It really does. Smoke pouring off your bikes with fun at the lights, cars pointing at it. Mate, oh, you're on fire! <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Isn't it cool? There we are, all masked out, ready to go. Now, it's not very matte at the moment. In fact, it's quite shiny still. But I'm presuming it will matte out in the morning. We'll have a little look. That's actually shinier than the satin. I hope that goes matte. Oh well, we shall see. Nothing gained. Nothing ventured as they say. Or maybe it's the other way around. Pipes look a bit better. A little bit more paint on them, which again, that will kind of calcify and go that creamy beige colour as it burns. And as I just said, loads of fun smoking it all in, it does. I mean, heat paint, you could use heat paint, but I've just used regular paint and I've proved it doesn't come off, it doesn't burn off. It just goes a bit kind of plasticky, powdery, dry, sort of calcium sort of feel. But there it is. Whacked over about three coats, I think, in all of matte black, apparently. But it's not very matte at the minute. But there we are, we've lost of daylight now. Same old, same old. End of the day, half past seven. Getting dark, it's getting dark now, so I'm going to can this now. I'm going to have a look in the morning and see if it comes out matte after a night drying in the garage. Let's see what happens in the morning. Right, here we are, morning after, and it hasn't matted down at all. It's still kind of stealthy satin, so maybe the tin was labelled wrong. But that is not at all matte. I ain't bothered because I'm going to scotch it up. Let's get the scotch bright into that. I think that will make a difference. So there we are. Little attempt to try and 
finish the paint. It's certainly got enough paint on now. There's plenty, plenty of paint on that now. Um, and the next thing I'm hoping, I'm gonna get some chain. Um, kind of make a, like I said, a skeletal belly pan type affair. Not literally a belly pan, because I don't want one, but some bars around the front, uh, which will look quite cool, but they've got to be removable because crash bars are removable. So I can get to the motor, sort of making it a little bit serviceable still. And when I put this in, I can still get up under there and adjust the carb tick over and so on so it's, it's not as if it's permanent. So there we are. A couple of comments I had recently about it not being a rat bike. Well you're quite right it's not really. It's just a matte black painted bandit. Uh, that's cool. That's what I wanted. Some people chop the back end off. They go from behind the rider's seat, cut all the back off completely, take all the side plastics off, just have metal bars, uh, ammo tins and scrim net and all that stuff it's all part of it it's all rat bike it doesn't really matter there's a harley if you put i am rat into youtube you'll see there's a harley there looks like a rolling junk pile not my kind of thing it just doesn't do it for me i like the stealth bike look a little bit mad max and it will continue it's a long process it's an organic process it's not just a matter of doing it in a week it's giving me something to do each night to stick up on youtube for you people uh bang this little brace on kind of like a motocross brace really for no other reason than when I'm doing any distance clip the sat nav on there so if I'm trying to find some rally or show I know it's a bit lame and weak sat navs and all that old crap but got one for the car I've got a plastic cover for it so it's handy it goes on there it's it's utilitarian it has a purpose there it is another little bit of silliness clearly the idea was to get this matte and it hasn't come out matte I needed to paint it anyway because it only had some smooth right on so it's, that's been done now, it's got the correct amount of paint and it's nicely finished and covered for protection. But I may just get scotch bright, take some of the shine off, which will be later on. Uh, or I think the weather will, because earlier on, this was just as shiny. And as the weather's got to it, it's just matted out completely. All around the front, it's just gone virtually completely matte. And that was shiny and satin, just like that. So maybe the weather take it down. It certainly will on the pipes anyway. That's going to smoke for England in about 10 minutes when I start out to go to work. Can't wait. But here we are. That's all it is for now, folks. It's a little bit of fun. It's a bit daft. It's just a bit of fun. It's an old banger, like I keep saying. It's not serious. If you want to do it to your bike, just make sure that you commit it, because once you've done it, you can't undo it. I enjoy it. Love it. So there we are. Thanks for tuning in and watching Delboy's Garage, as usual. So ride safe. See you next time.